they're gonna probably be arresting me just because we want to have a good time. Multiple safes broken into, drawers ripped open, closets ransacked, boxes of gun ammo and Grammy Awards. New images from TMZ show inside Diddy's ransacked Beverly Hills mansion during the coast to coast raids where no arrests were made. At least five lawsuits have been filed, nearly all by those claiming Diddy drugged and forced them into having sex. Longtime enemy Diddy Sant posted that his upcoming docuseries on the allegations is now entitled Diddy Do It. The scandal surrounding Diddy received a significant boost from a Hollywood heavyweight. Will Smith have been implicated in fresh reports, suggesting he wasn't merely a bystander at Diddy's notorious events but may have actively participated. With each day, the drama intensifies, and now the focus is shifting to Smith, surprising fans and raising eyebrows. As investigators delve deeper into Diddy's realm of extravagant gatherings and controversial claims, they've unearthed unforeseen links including a notable tie to the Fresh Prince himself. Could Will Smith's association extend beyond mere casual acquaintance? Are we observing the transition of a bystander into a potential collaborator? Just last week, federal agents conducted raids on two residences belonging to the rapper and music magnate Sean P. Diddy Combs, spanning locations in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs finds himself at the center of a federal investigation. Before delving into the specific allegations and concrete evidence implicating Will Smith, let's address a revelation that may startle skeptical viewers. The connection between Smith and Diddy is hardly novel. In fact, rumors of their relationship have circulated for some time, suggesting that their bond transcends mere acquaintance. With Smith frequently spotted at Diddy's infamous soiree, Diddy's soiree have achieved legendary status, renowned for their opulence and mystique. Persistent whispers have circulated regarding exclusive guest lists dominated by men and the extravagant indulgence that rivals even the excesses of ancient Rome's most notorious revelries. Indeed, these gatherings have drawn the attention of social media, with Twitter users speculating on the potential for scandal within their confines. Among the murmurs are suggestions of grooming and questionable conduct amidst the glittering facade of luxury. Within this backdrop, the spotlight now turns to Will Smith's potential involvement. As we rewind the tape a bit, recall the leaked video featuring Jamie Foxx divulging details about Diddy's clandestine gatherings. I would show up to the party in my little, uh, in a little town car, this town, you know, I grabbed my town car so I could skirt. Puff the SUVs and the road and the Bentleys, the whole night. He get out. I get out too with a camera. The big cannon, like yo, Puff, I should document this shit, right? <laughs> yo, what's up, Playboy? Like, <laughs> what, what, what you talking about? I said, no, I should get this, man. You fonz with a whole night. Uh -huh. I don't know who do this. So I said, I said, Puff, who that? Oh, that's the young cat. I asked him question. I said, cool. So I, I asked uh uh Demi Moore, I said, is it cool if I she said sure and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and his parties were like amazing. We had Philly one day. I, I fly to Philly, town car, same business, go up. But Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, I said, yeah. million and a half dollars. I said, nigga, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? Sean Poofy Combs, a stalwart figure in the music industry for over three decades has long been true deed in rumors surrounding his alleged hosting of exclusively all-male gatherings. Within social media, speculation abounds, with Twitter users pondering the unsettling possibility of Combs engaging in grooming behavior, particularly about Usher. Recently, a TikTok video surfaced, compiling various interviews with rappers and singers discussing the enigmatic allure of Puff Daddy's reputed all-men affairs. The footage kicks off with Jamie Foxx shedding light on the secretive nature of these gatherings, which are rumored to feature a younger male contingent. Notably, figures like 50 Cent have poked fun at Combs, jesting about the nature of these gatherings and alluding to instances involving Usher, such as his purported experience at the infamous Flavor Camp. Further insight emerges from an interview conducted by Howard Stern and co-host Robin Quivers wherein the R&B sensation Usher delves into his early experiences in New York City, where he resided with Puff Daddy during his teenage years. During the discussion, Usher touches upon the lavish parties and celebrations synonymous with the so-called Flavor Camp. While recounting his time at Flavor Camp on The Howard Stern Show, Usher skirts around the specifics, hinting at his immersion into a lifestyle characterized by extravagance and indulgence. However, he remains coy about his level of participation, 
acknowledging the allure of the scene while maintaining a sense of reservation, deeming it pretty wild. Later in the video, insinuations were made that Sean Puffy Combs and Usher shared a bed when Usher was nearly 10 years old, engaging in playful wrestling matches over bowls of frosted flakes. While the authenticity of the featured interviews appears credible, it's essential to remember the enigmatic nature of the internet where mysteries abound. Recently, Academics has unearthed intriguing clues, hinting at the potential identities of the unnamed individuals referenced in the video. Speculation swirls that Meek Mill and Usher could be the figures in question, with rapper Five potentially linked to a Philadelphia-based artist previously associated with Nicki Minaj and R&B singer Six, possibly connected to a Super Bowl performer boasting a Las Vegas residency. Though these connections remain speculative, they cast a shadow of suspicion over Meek Mill and Usher regarding their involvement in Diddy's legal entanglements. Despite past conflicts, Meek and academics have reconciled, with academics now urging Meek to address the allegations concerning Diddy head-on. He even goes as far as suggesting that Meek take to Twitter to vehemently refute the claims made by Lil Rod. In fact, Academix proposes that Meek go all out in discrediting these allegations. Yo Meek, we were joking around with the Michael Rubin stuff. You tweet about everything under the sun. If you don't launch into a Twitter tirade vehemently denying any involvement with Diddy, this guy is out here spreading rumors that you and Diddy were engaging in intimate relations, Academics asserts. Meek Mill has remained notably silent on the matter, yet his recent move to clear his Instagram account has ignited speculation among fans, prompting questions about its potential link to the legal troubles swirling around Diddy. Despite the rampant speculation permeating social media, Meek Mill vehemently refutes any suggestion of romantic entanglement with Diddy. He recently fired back at DJ Academics for insinuating that he was the unnamed individual referenced in the lawsuit. Taking to social media platforms, Meek warned Academics sternly, cautioning against any attempts to besmirch his reputation and alluding to the possibility of a face-to-face -face confrontation. He shrugged off the allegations, asserting his unwillingness to tolerate any efforts to tarnish his character. The reactions to Diddy's legal woes and the swirling rumors involving Meek Mill and Usher are varied. While some view the synchronicity of social media actions as significant clues, others dismiss them as mere conjecture. This isn't the first time Diddy has faced allegations of involvement in dubious activities. Casting our minds back, Columbus Short also made headlines when he alleged that Diddy attempted to groom him during their collaboration on the 2008 film A Raisin in the Sun. In an interview on Boss Talk 101, the actor recounted introducing Diddy to his acting coach, which deepened their connection. Short admitted to attending parties with the bad boy mogul, but clarified that these weren't ordinary gatherings, stating, I was at the big parties. Reflecting on his experiences, Short acknowledged a sense of groomage in hindsight. Regarding the accusations plaguing Diddy in recent months, Short remarked, as I got deeper into the game, people talk, so I would hear stories, but I never saw anything. I didn't know their after-after parties. In a revised Manhattan federal lawsuit initially lodged in February, Rodney Jones, a former producer for Diddy, comes forward with disturbing allegations claiming he endured groping and threats and was exposed to instances of trafficking. And it sounds like these were serious crimes and serious accusations. That's why this NDA doesn't matter anymore. And more people who have signed NDAs thinking that they can never actually stand against their abuser, you can. You can definitely stand against your abuser, even if you signed an NDA. The best part about this coming out is people are going to be made aware that powerful men like Diddy cannot get away with this anymore. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Waddles, for that. Shani says it was Kid Cootie's car, and he confirmed it. Damn! Yo, this is deep. Thank you, Shanice. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Compounding this all-encompassing intrusion into her life, Mr. Combs secured his control over the young and impressionable Miss Ventura by introducing her to a drug-fueled lifestyle that kept her complacent and compliant. Mr. Combs first introduced Miss Ventura to opiate, opiates around 2008 and would often have pills and other drugs out in the open like candy. Now, this sounds like Karen from Will and Grace. Upon information and belief, Mr. Combs had been addicted to prescription painkillers and took ecstasy frequently. 
The lawsuit further contends that Combs orchestrated a culture of drug facilitation within his household, allegedly tasking employees such as maids and butlers with carrying fanny packs filled with cocaine. Jones asserts that he resided with Diddy for nearly a year to collaborate on a project during which time he purportedly bore witness to the illicit activities and found himself subjected to threats. Moreover, the complaint draws connections between the embattled actor Cuba Gooding Jr. and rapper Young Miami to the purported misconduct. The revelation surfaces mere days following a series of homeland security raids on the residences of the music tycoon situated in Los Angeles and Miami. As of now, Combs remains unchanged with any criminal offenses and reportedly remains in full cooperation with federal investigators. Following the recent federal interventions, Diddy's legal representative, Aaron Dyer, issued a statement in response, denouncing what he perceived as an excessive use of force akin to military operations during the execution of search warrants at Mr. Combs's properties. Looking back, it becomes evident that social media has a penchant for weaving intricate narratives to fill the gaps in our understanding. Cast your mind back, and you'll recall a time when what initially seemed like an opportunity for Usher swiftly veered into darker territory, as he found himself unwittingly thrust into the confines of Diddy's notorious flavor camp. The specifics of what unfolded within the confines of this enigmatic camp remain shrouded in secrecy, with Usher merely alluding to bearing witness to occurrences too tumultuous for his youthful comprehension. During a probing inquiry by Howard Stern regarding the atmosphere within Diddy's abode, Usher's response was notably guarded. A subtle, nervous chuckle punctuated his hesitant reply, hinting at a reluctance to delve into the depths of his experiences. Instead, he deftly skirted the question, vaguely alluding to encountering interesting things, leaving fans to speculate on the true nature of what unfolded behind closed doors. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there, Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man, Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blosh, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? Usher's evasive response to inquiries about his experiences at Diddy's residence has ignited speculation, prompting many to wonder if there's more to the narrative than meets the eye. This conjecture gained traction following the emergence of a revealing interview clip in which a presumably intoxicated Diddy confessed to sharing a bed with Usher during their past encounters. What's particularly startling is the revelation that Usher wasn't the assumed age of 14 at the time of these incidents, but a mere 10 years old, juxtaposed against Diddy's age of 19. This newfound context raises significant questions about the dynamics of their relationship and casts a shadow of suspicion over Diddy's conduct, with fans pondering whether Usher might have been exploited during his tenure under Diddy's roof. Talking about Diddy being involved with Will Smith, he himself has done some questionable acts. The news came out after a recent interview with Jada on Red Table Talk, where she discussed the speculation that Will and P. Diddy were more than just friends. She said they were close friends and had no romantic relationship. However, when asked whether or not Will had a boyfriend, she didn't deny it but said, I don't know if I should say this, but yes, he does have a boyfriend. Whoa, that is one hell of a claim she made there. Will Smith and P. Diddy have been accused of having a secret gay affair? The rumors have been swirling about what really happened between Will and P. Diddy. Some sources say they were just friends who had grown close over time. Others claim they were lovers for years before Jada learned about it. It's no secret that Will Smith and Diddy have been friends for over two decades. But many people aren't aware that they may be more than just friends. News is going around the internet lately about a possible romantic relationship between the two stars with some even suggesting they attend gay parties together. While neither of them has confirmed or denied these rumors, it certainly makes you wonder if something could happen behind closed doors. The truth is, we may never know whether or not Will Smith and Diddy are actually in a relationship. Will hasn't commented publicly on these allegations yet, but he posted a cryptic message on his Twitter account. Sometimes you gotta go through some things to get where you need to be. Could this mean he's finally ready to come clean? This accusation of Jada has caused quite a stir in Hollywood as many people wonder who this mystery man could be and how long he and Will have been together. It also raises questions about how this will impact their children, who already deal with their parents getting divorced after 25 years of marriage. 
as we sit here today in a reflection of was it the right thing to reveal to talk about everything do you feel like you made the right choice absolutely i think you at some point you know i had to talk about my journey mm -hmm. you know and um i think just like we were talking about i think there's so many of us who you know, hold so much, mm -hmm. you know, specifically yeah. women and feeling like we're going to be criticized. Yeah. We're going to be can't say anything. judged. You can't yeah. say anything. Yeah. She'd lived the life more on the edge than he had realized and that she is more resilient, clever and compassionate than he'd understood. And this is the quote. When you've been with someone for more than half your life, he wrote, a sort of an emotional blindness sets in and all you can do uh, and you can all too easily lose your sensitivity to their hidden nuances and subtle beauties. Did it sounds like an emotional blindness. He didn't see you. Is that kind of what it was that he... he... I think, yeah, that's so universal in relationships. He didn't see me and I didn't see him, right? Yeah. And so we kind of had to go our separate ways to see each other. Jaden Smith has grabbed some attention from people, especially after sharing a sad cry about himself on Instagram. There are a lot of rumors that this little boy is struggling to deal with rumors about his dad, Will, being gay, it seems like the rumors about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's sexuality have been around for years, but one that has recently gained traction is their alleged bisexuality. Last year, YouTube star Trisha Paytas accused Will Smith of sleeping with her male dancer. This sparked a flurry of speculation about the couple's sexuality, which they have not addressed publicly. It's important to remember that no matter what anyone says or believes about them, only Will and Jada know their true feelings on this matter if they even choose to share them at all. Until then, we can only speculate whether these rumors have any truth. In the midst of recent controversies, Alexis Arquette made allegations against Will, asserting that his sexuality played a role in the dissolution of his first marriage other than Will's wife have added fuel to the fire. Opinions regarding this high-profile couple vary widely. Some suggest that Jada took advantage of their son's friend, highlighting the significant age gap, while others speculate about Will's potential involvement in clandestine affairs with men. These assertions may be difficult to process, but one particularly striking claim comes from Jaguar, who suggests that the couple may identify as bisexual. While Jada and Will are busy throwing stones at each other, Jaguar Wright shows up, saying that Jada and Will's marriage is a sham. She also stated that young men are running away from their house as the couple lures them to have fun with them. The fun fact is that the couple believes in entanglement rather than monogamy, which could mean anything from being able to date other people. They never shied away from discussing their unconventional approach to relationships. They've even gone as far as saying they are still committed to each other or simply having an open dialogue about their feelings towards others outside their marriage. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have brushed aside a recent rumor regarding Will's sexuality. After an assertion surfaced on social media this week alleging an intimate relationship between Will and actor Dwayne Martin, Will's representative stated, this story is entirely fabricated and the claim is categorically false. The allegation was presented on Unwind with Tasha Kay by Brother Bilal, who asserted that years ago he stumbled upon Smith, 55, and Martin engaging in illicit activity. Who'd you walk in on? That's what will. About how Will reacted to Brother Bilal's claim, Jada said her husband is always going to find the funny, adding that she and Will laughed about it. You have to because it's absolutely ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So all you have is you just gotta laugh about it, and it's unfortunate, she said. In her newly published book, Worthy, Jada addressed the ongoing speculation surrounding her and Will's sexuality throughout the years. She expressed her exasperation, stating, I could only sit back and shake my head as the rumors escalated to absurdity, with individuals suggesting we were both gay and acting as each other's beards or that we were engaging in affairs with whomever we pleased, whenever we pleased. Jada reflected on the persistent rumors about her sexual orientation, stating, there have always been rumors that I'm gay, that I prefer women. She further elaborated that she had a few sexual experiences with women, only to realize that when it comes to SX, I am attracted to men. 
Now, examining the dynamics of Will Smith and Diddy's friendship in light of Sean Diddy Combs' current entanglement with a federal investigation, it becomes apparent that Smith may also find himself intricately linked. While the nature of the accusations against Combs differs markedly, the possibility of Smith's involvement looms. In a significant turn of events, Combs faced accusations of rape from his former girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, known professionally as Cassie, which swiftly resulted in a settlement within a day. Since then, three additional women have stepped forward, levying allegations of rape, trafficking, assault, and other forms of abuse against Combs. Alarmingly, one of these allegations involves a minor, amplifying the gravity of the situation. Furthermore, a male producer has also filed a lawsuit against Combs, citing unwanted physical contact. Commenting on the unfolding scenario, Geddes, who is not directly associated with the Combs case, posits that Ventura's allegations may have acted as a catalyst for the federal investigation. She suggests that the heightened scrutiny spurred by docuseries such as those concerning R. Kelly often serve as a pivotal impetus for law enforcement action. Gettys highlights that such high-profile investigations typically necessitate an external push. In Kelly's instance, despite his acquittal in 2008, the documentary reignited interest among authorities, reinvigorating their pursuit of justice. Sources indicate that Combs's investigation, spearheaded by Homeland Security, has been ongoing for several months, with numerous individuals connected to the case, including accusers and witnesses, having already undergone interviews. Getty's notes, Homeland Security investigation's involvement in both the Kelly case and the current probe into Combs, underscoring their expertise in handling cases involving trafficking victims. She emphasizes that trafficking hinges on elements such as force, fraud, or coercion to compel individuals into engaging in commercial commercial acts, with minors under 18 particularly vulnerable to exploitation. Importantly, Gettys underscores that there is no statute of limitations for trafficking offenses, with key legislation enacted in the early 2000s applying to acts dating back to 2001. This legal framework underscores the gravity of the allegations and the potential ramifications for those involved. What are your thoughts on Hollywood elites like Diddy and Will Smith, who seemingly conceal their questionable actions from public scrutiny? Do you believe they are on the verge of exposure, or will their considerable influence enable them to swiftly brush aside any allegations?